Hi, I'm Eagle. Welcome to the first video of this time series crash course. I'm making this course because around this time last year, I started a new role in Vendaya Science. And in this new role, I basically become a, special, a specialist within forecasting and time series. However, before that, my knowledge and depth of understanding within the field is quite limited. And so I'm making this course for people like me around a year ago who are looking to get into time series and don't know where to start. And I'm hoping this course will give you a good overview of the key concepts and intuition behind time series and forecasting and where they can be applied in the industry. I also want to stress kind of a big thing within this course. It's not going to be a very deep theoretical mathematical deep dive into every concept. It's going to be, like I said, a kind of intuition and real understanding behind the idea of time series and how they work, as opposed to all the proofs, theories and mathematics that go behind them. I think a lot of this stuff can be found online and can be written by people who are much better than me and literal professors in the field. This is, like I said, more of a trying to drive home the key concepts because ultimately that's what we use as a scientist. We don't necessarily always delve into the maths, which is good to know. We more apply tools and by knowing the concepts, we can apply the correct tools in a more efficient manner. So the first video of this course is going to be answering the grand old question, what are time series? Now, they're pretty self-explanatory. You know, it literally says what it is on the tin. A time series is any data or series that is indexed by time. Things like stock prices, rainfall, weather. These are all forms of time series because when you quote one of the data points, like the stock price is $200, you normally quote it as certain date. This is very different to regular supervised learning problems you may come across, which is like more like static or cross-sectional data. An example of this would be credit card fraud. If you're trying to determine whether a transaction is fraudulent or not, you don't really care about the time dependency on this. You just more care where did it happen, when did it happen, who is the person, you know, all these list of features. But there is no temporal dependency when trying to calculate if it was fraudulent or not. And that's the key difference between time series data and the regular static cross-sectional machine learning problem you may come across. On the screen you should now see a basic Python script that I wrote that pulls data from Yahoo Finance for the Apple stock price over the last two years. The key thing you want to see here is how the data frame is literally indexed by time and how the plot is a function of time. And this is the thing I really want to drive home about time series. They're so reliant on time that you have to always have that in the back of your mind when dealing with them. Otherwise you may lead into weird results where you're looking at time data that happened after before a certain point that you're investigating and that's in a form of data leakage. Finally, the last thing I want to touch upon in this introduction video is the idea of forecasting. Now, forecasting is basically a form of prediction for time series, but it's called forecasting because you're predicting the future. So for time series, you may say the Apple share price was this on this day, what's it going to be the next day? And the idea is you're really trying to predict the future as opposed to regular cross-sectional data where you have a set of features and you're just trying to identify, um, like I said, for credit card fraud, whether it was fortunate or not. So I hope you enjoyed this first video of this time series crash course. This video is more of an introduction, just us talking about what time series are and just getting that basic understanding of where they use and why they're important. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.